Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and this is the Kubi KU-122. Now, this one has been super surprising to me because it has a weird look to it. I I I'll give it that. It's definitely a unique-looking knife. Now, sometimes with these unique-looking knives like this, they just tend to surprise you because of how useful they wind up being. And there's been a few knives lately that I never would have thought would work so good. This is one of them. Now, of course, I have a couple complaints. We'll get into that, but this thing is pretty awesome. We'll get into the action first. But first, shout out to Kubi Knives. They send us knives to check out, and we do really appreciate it. Also, I'm going to link um, this model and other models down in the description for you guys to check out. And I'm going to link Kubi's website down there below. So if you want to go and check out other models from Kubi Knives, all you got to do is go down in the description and click the links. The action is incredible. It's on another level of awesome. One, it's a compact knife. It's not a big knife. So it sits in your hand, you know, compact, you know, just nice and easy to bang, pop that um, that blade out, the, the, the hole. Why, it's not a big hole, but it just winds up falling right where your finger pow. Just uh, pops it right out, which is awesome. Same thing with the thumb flick. And the detent is light enough and tuned enough. So I don't want to make it seem like it's very light. I mean, it feels light. Like when you go to pop it out or you slow roll it, it feels like it's light. But you cannot swing it out. I mean, it's just, it's, it's in there good. But you have so much leverage up in this direction that it's, it's such a light blade it's easy peasy to pop that sucker out. I mean, this thing goes flying. And once you break it, like even if you go lightly, it carries. It carries itself. Same thing with the thumb flick. Very, very easy to do. And that's me doing it very lightly. So if I really try to, I mean, it, it snaps out there really good. Access to the lock bar, very generous. Um, locked up, extremely solid. Very, very solid. And it is very smooth on the drop, even with this very light blade. You wouldn't think it would be as smooth as it is, but holy cow. Um, very, very drop shutty. And if you give it any influence at all, it just slaps shut. Also very easy to slow roll. Now, the Ergos. It is, you know, being the size knife it is, you know, it's not a giant knife or anything like that. But in this grip... I. I'm I'm not like a complete full four finger. I mean, I am four fingers right here, clearly. But when I'm gripping it with my thumb on the spine, it does push forward a little bit where my fingers are pushed back, I guess you could say. And I'm still four fingers, but my pinky is kind of struggling to hang on right there. Although I, I still have a great grip with a lot of leverage pushing in this direction, if that makes sense. So in slicing like this, you have a ton of leverage through your cut. So this works out really good. Now, if I wanted to get a lot more leverage into a push cut, I do have a full four finger grip, no problems at all, no issues whatsoever, lots of leverage, and you can get a little closer to the blade for maximum force through a cut. So the ergos are really good, especially for how small it is. Now, pinch grips and things like that, also really good. Um, I tend to like this type of grip when I do my utility cuts, and or if I'm going to drill a hole or something, it works really good. The geometry, I think this is the thinnest behind the edge Kubi I have ever tried. Um, very, very thin behind the edge. I mean, you can see, look at how thin that tip is. Very, very thin. I'm talking about under 15,000. I don't know if it's just this one and I got lucky, but this is incredibly thin behind the edge. Um, the grind goes from about 15,000 to about 10,000 at the tip. Extremely thin tip. But the blade is extremely useful in the pinch grip, like for opening boxes and stuff. You can just, you can really maneuver it around really good. It's easy to, to manipulate around, especially for small detail tasks. It's just a perfect knife for details. 
and it winds up slicing so good. It's a full 100% flat ground blade. So seeing, seeing that it is a 100% full flat grind, that's going to benefit the cutting performance and cutting geometry. The blade stock thickness is decent and it does have a tapering geometry similar to like a, um, a Spyderco PM2. And speaking of Spyderco, let me show you how thin this thing gets. Look at how thin that tip is. So this is a precision built tip. Now this is 20 thousandths at the tip. So you can see how much, how much uh, slimmer this is. So very, very slicey. Now you're not going to want to pry with this tip. You're only going to want to stick to opening things up. You know, maybe some light duty drilling, light duty. Um, nothing you don't want to make you want to make sure you don't bend anything because this is a straight like utility type of tip it's going to do utility cuts and it will do it very very well now passing through materials also extremely good passes through materials without any issue and your leverage behind your cuts does increase the performance of the geometry so really really good cutting and the utility cuts also phenomenal no complaints whatsoever with the way this thing works and cuts and uses as an edc knife especially for its size man it cuts way above its pay grade or way above its size i guess you could say the clip and carry clip and carry works great in and out of the pocket no problems for the most part we do have one little issue we're gonna get to that but it works it does work i do have one issue though we'll talk about that in a second but it does work okay um the, the but the carry though the actual profile of it is just fine no issues i mean it's no bigger than you know maybe a little bit smaller than like a pm2 and then if you know the size of a pm2 and a manix it's basically uh it's a little bit smaller profile than a Manix or a PM2, which not too many people complain about. Shout out to MC. But, you know, the, it's short. It's small. It's it's not slim, but it's also not really thick. It carries fine. It carries fine. Um, stop pin on it. Nice size. I love seeing a good size stop pin. Um, it is on ceramic caged bearings. Um, like I said, it is a steel liner lock, and we have a ceramic detent ball right there you can see the little detent ball the detent is nice and early you're always past the detent i mean it's very very early so you're always past it all the little good things i mean it's awesome t10 pivot t8 hardware that's also another thing that's awesome lots of milling inside there so it's very light so what are the bad things well one thing so I keep hitting my camera guys i apologize one bad thing is oh yeah i forgot to say reversible pocket clip too so if you're a lefty it's equally as good left-handed that is very important to a lot of people that are left-handed because some knives you get locked out of but be, this being a liner lock it works just fine right or left-handed uh but what are some negative things so this clip we'll just talk about it they should have inset it the little scoop that's right here when your paint when your uh liner of your pockets coming underneath here it goes under and then it goes and it hits right there and then you gotta sometimes adjust to get your pants over this little hump this is just tight look at that it's tight to get it over that it winds up becoming difficult so is it that big of a deal it can be but you can get past it you just kind of sometimes gotta like readjust when you're doing it now they could have avoided all of that by just insetting the clip if they would have just did a cutout they could have inset the clip into the the g10 and it would have it would work great um but they didn't and it's just right on top of the scale as you can see no cutout but anyways next thing which to me is kind of a, a problem. I thought about taking this thing off and fixing it by bending it. So I might do that in a future video. I have a couple more Kubi reviews coming up. So I'm probably going to do that in one of the videos because it seems that all the new Kubis have this little issue. Um, so if Kubi, if you're listening, inset the clips or 
put a little bit taller of a clip because that is a very tight passage. Next thing. The plunge grind. The plunge grind ends right before the edge. That's going to be one good sharpening. I know this is very thin, so sharpening it, you're not going to remove much steel. But that's pretty close to that edge. So one good sharpening, and I'm going to be hitting the plunge grind. I don't know why they wouldn't have just put the plunge grind back to here and then left us all of this to sharpen. Um, kind of like... Where is it? Um, I guess this one does kind of kind of like this one. Give us a little bit more where you can see there how this one, you, you got more room. The plunge grind stops right there. And I've already sharpened this one and laid back the, the, the edge. So this one, I would have preferred a different plunge grind or a smaller plunge grind, something that doesn't go all the way to the edge. Other than that, I mean, the stone, the bead blast, I do prefer a more of a stone washed, but this is not bad. They had a bead blast um, before that I wasn't that happy with, but this one looks a little bit better. Maybe it's just me, but it looks good. So, but I do prefer a stone wash instead of a bead blast on D2 because D2 has the tendencies to show corrosion on bead blast finishes. So bead blasted finishes are just more corrosive than stone washed finishes. But, um, this one's okay. Um, now this thing's incredible. Um, the hardware is extremely good quality, nice and deep. Your T8s or T10s fit in there perfectly. Um, so many little details that are incredible with this knife. This knife is definitely a winner. And uh, I think they're knocking out a lot of their knives right out of the park. Like they are just, they're killing it right now. Kubi's doing an incredible job, especially with their, I'm not going to say especially, but they're doing an incredible job with their knives around this price range that it they're stepping it up, guys. They are stepping it up. And it's surprising how how good these are for the price range. Um, you know, there's only a few companies that can they can do this good of a job in this price range, and Kubi is just they're they're right there. So they're doing an incredible, incredible job. So there you guys go. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.